My name is Angel Santos. Um, I'm working for VT uh, in the Global Service Division. Um, I'm heading up the Dynamic Network Service uh, program in the portfolio team. Um, this program is all about the development of uh, uh, SD1 uh, uh, networking capability, uh, including virtualization services. Global Services um, is the section of BT that's working with uh, global customers, uh, serving them wherever they are. We're actually uh, uh, serving those customers in uh, more than uh, 188 countries. Um, and we are delivering networking solutions, but also uh, any um, need they have for collaboration and computing capability. So BT is working on, uh, on delivering a set of uh, SD1 services um, for a number of reasons. The first one is because we are uh, always at the forefront of uh, new technology uh, and therefore we've been working in our labs um, on SDN capability in the data center and SD1 for quite some time. But also we realized that the need, uh, the business need for our customer is evolving. Uh, they need more agile services, uh, the migration to, uh, to the internet with the emergence of uh, cloud-based application uh, is making their uh, networking requirement a lot more complicated. SD1 is an enabler uh, towards simplification and giving the agility that our customer needs um, to, uh, to, to do their business uh, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. We have been identifying uh, uh, a number of use cases. Uh, the first use case is about um, the development of uh, SD1 capability to deliver branch network. Um, they usually need to have a lot of you know, merger and acquisition, opening sites and closing them. So SD1 gives them the ability to um, uh, have that flexibility, um, but also being able to manage those network um, a lot easier. The second use case, um, is um, the multi-supplier uh, type of approach. So we are a global provider and understand that our customers are trying to get the, the best network at the best price. Um, and therefore, SD1 is giving them the ability to um, um, have a coherent uh, service across the, global, the globe, working with BT or another um, uh, operator, or mixing uh, um, technology such as MPLS and internet but still having that uh, overlay uh, capability to, uh, uh, to have that simplicity and coherence of service. The third use case that uh, we have uh, seen uh, emerging is the need uh, for virtualization of, uh, of services. Uh, so we are working on a set of uh, additional services where we would deliver to the customer a server type. Uh, where we can deliver uh, SD1, but also integrate that with a number of other services, such as security or acceleration, uh, depending on what the customer wants to do. So when we started to look at uh, SD1 services, the first uh, thing that we've done is uh, launch an RFP process. Uh, we invited uh, all the major players in uh, the SD1 market uh, to present their, uh, their solution from a technology and, uh, and commercial uh, aspects. Um, so we have obviously uh, evaluated uh, all the solutions that were uh, on the market. We have selected uh, Nuage for three main reasons. The first one is the simplicity of, uh, of the solution. Um, the Nuage solution um, was really simple to use uh, to install a new site and that was very important for, for us. Um, not only uh, for, for BT but also to help our customers uh, setting up their, their business. The second reason um, why we selected a, a Nuage was because of the, uh, the breadth of the feature that they could offer uh, on their SD1 solution and the openness of the platform. Uh, we as an operator, we have a large portfolio uh, that we want to uh, deliver to our customer and it was very important that the SD1 solution was compatible uh, with, uh, with this portfolio, not only for the network but the rest of, uh, of the services as well. And the third reason uh, why we've selected uh, Nokia um, is because it's a very stable uh, uh, company. Uh, we've been working with, uh, with Nokia for quite some time uh, in, uh, on our network uh, and it was very important for us to be able to build that relationship uh, very quickly uh, and have a, a connection with our commercial team and the technical team to uh, work on that uh, service uh, as fast as we could. 
So BT is working on the, the future plan of, uh, of SD1 capability. Uh, um, so we are working on two main uh, points. The first one is, um, as we speak, we're developing a, a series of uh, um, a service that we can deliver on our Agile CP. So the idea is to be able to deploy a piece of hardware on the customer uh, site and to deliver a set of virtualized service. SD1 would be, uh, would be of course one of them uh, and there will be firewall acceleration. Uh, we are actually creating uh, um, an application store where the customer will be able to pick any application that they may, uh, they may need. The second angle of development of this type of solution is the extension into the LAN environment uh, with, um, for example, Wi-Fi capabilities, but also into the data center. For the data center, we're going to deploy that solution in BT's own data center. We can deploy it into the customer uh, data center or even in third-party uh, capabilities, so looking at a, a choice of deployment for the customer.